Good morning, Sinking Springs Elementary. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020. Today is a No New Work Monday. That means that today you have the opportunity, opportunity to make sure that you get caught up with all of your work. Today, mm, today is for the chocolate and the peanut butter lover. Today we celebrate the candy that brings both of those favorite ingredients together, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mmm. So, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, well, it actually goes back to 1917. A gentleman by the name of H.B. Reese was working on a Hershey dairy farm, and in the 1920s, he began working at a close-by factory. You may have heard of it. It's called the Hershey Candy Factory. Well, he went from working on his dairy farm in Hershey, Pennsylvania, to working for the Hershey Candy Factory. And um, at the time, he had been making candy in his basement, actually. <laughs> He had to work out a way to take care of, get ready, his 16 children. They needed a little bit of extra money to make ends meet, so he started He started um, working at that factory in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and he also started making his own candy in his basement. Um, once he had gotten really good at making his own candy in his basement, he actually quit Hershey's and formed his own candy company. It was called the H.B. Reese Candy Company, and that was back in 1923. He had a wide range of candies that he sold, um, and in 1928, he actually came up with this idea of putting together milk chocolate and peanut butter. At the time, in 1928, he sold them for only a penny. And so they kind of got this nickname, Penny Cups. They were a really popular candy. And then he decided to sell more and more of them. Back in uh, the World War II time, something called rationing was happening. Sort of like what we're experiencing now with toilet paper. <laughs> well, there wasn't a lot of sugar to go around. Um, and Reese's company decided to stop selling everything but those peanut butter cups because they happened to have less sugar in them than the other candies. So his company continued to grow and grow and grow. And eventually, after he had passed away, his company was left to his six sons. Um, and they actually sold it to the Hershey Company. So it all comes back around, doesn't it? Back in 1963, they sold the Reese's Candy Company to the Hershey Candy Company. And so now that's why Hershey is selling the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So today, in order for you to celebrate Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Day, um, go ahead and enjoy a peanut butter cup if you can, if you have access to it. Or, you know, some people don't like peanut butter. Some people don't like chocolate. I don't know why. But if you're one of those people, enjoy perhaps instead your very favorite candy as an alternate to Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Have a great day today. We're looking forward to hearing from Miss Anderson for our words of wisdom and the pledge. Don't forget to get caught up on your assignments. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Morning, Sinking Springs. This is Miss Anderson with a few words of wisdom. Many years ago, our nation changed a law that was very unkind and unfair. It was a law that kept African American students from going to school with all other students. This law was especially unfair to African American children, but it was also unfair to all the other children. It took away the chance for all students to form friendships, share ideas, and work together, which would have made everyone a better person. Thurgood Marshall was one of the lawyers who helped change this unfair law, and today it is the anniversary of the famous court case, which is called Brown v. Board of Education. Mr. Marshall would later become the first African American to serve on our nation's Supreme Court. He once said that, When we see the goodness in other human beings, we give ourselves respect by being good human beings too. 
Today, in honor of this important anniversary, see the good in others, no matter our differences. With something to think about, this is Miss Anderson. Make it, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, nation, uh, indivisible, liberty and justice for all.